need to, to win two games out of four to qualify to the elimination phase. So um, I also didn't have too much pressure. But of course, um, I had to do my best. Like I would zero out of four, I would not pass. So I, at least I need a couple of games. So here you play white. And I'm going to play, um, well, I played this um, Mosquito and uh, Hub, which is quite popular uh, nowadays. Um, the idea is to wait and play a buffer opening later on, but you can always um, go for a classical opening, actually, if you want to. Um, and Black, on the other hand, uh, also has the option for um, a buffer. So Black could have played this move, for example. And then we end up in a double buffer, which is though quite a different story. Um, so here I play the spider, which is not very common. Um, in, in general, early spiders in the opening, they're not extremely common. But here kind of makes sense because it completes the pocket, uh, keep my mosquito safe at the same time the spider is attacking um, the queen. Um, Black responds with a typical block either a hopper or um, a pill bug usually. They are two good defensive pieces and the spider is kind of thwarted by the uh, angle of attack. Well, I of course wanted to take the space here where the grasshopper is now, but I can't. And the spider is forced to get into this um, false spin, in this, the, creating this elbow, which means that later on for black would be easier um, to free the grasshopper and defend. Um, Black goes on with this move, creating, um, um, like finishing the pocket. Um, the other option would have been to go for, uh, like pinning one of these two pieces, the ant or the mosquito, probably. Maybe, maybe this first to keep the mosquito uh, stuck and second to control the flank here, so that white cannot place anything here and cannot complete the pocket anymore. Um, but at the same time, white can uh, respond with this blocking black mosquito um, and uh, the black ant here is maybe not positioned too well um, in the sense that like it's not a good anchor for an attack it's a bit too far from the queen at the same time it's not really blocking the mosquito because the mosquito is now not able to move um, anyway let's go back to what happened in the game we go for uh, more um, placement control. This is the typical setup of the buffer that is quite popular um, that I've played several times. I like that you play the ant game but without placing the pillbug down yet. You don't know yet what the structure could be um, and it's quite flexible. So um, you will potentially have three ants. Of course, one of these will get stuck because otherwise the queen is not connected to the rest of the hive. But you will see how it works in a bit. So black goes on with that. Here I decided to um, go for this move. Of course, there were several options. You could pin this ant here. You could pin this ant here. Um, I tried this move because he, he, he also breaks the, um, the pocket uh, inside. So the mosquito can still get out because it has pill, um, ladybug power and also pillbug power. But um, wherever he moves, um, I don't care. The point is the ant will still pin one of these two black ants and at the same time controls this pawn point that cannot be used by black again to place new pieces in. And if black moves one of the, the ants, fine. Um, the white ant here um, his doing a good job blocking the mosquito in. Um, I'm not sure if it's the best move, but um, I think the other moves are good alternatives, but I like, kind of like this one. New placement by black. This spider, I'm not sure exactly what's the idea is probably to pin my ant here. But on the other hand, the ant doesn't really want to go anywhere. So um, maybe a better option was to place, uh, sorry, to, to move uh, one of the ants and make some space for, for new pieces um, or make space, for example, for the mosquito to um, use pillbug power to move my ant away uh, at some point or, or this one to move my ant away here. Um, the problem is um, 
if black wants to place a new ant, there's no really a good place uh, where it could go without being pinned by the spider. So this is another um, plus of having the spider here. Um, like starting with the spider. So let's go... Oops, sorry. Let's go on with... Black plays by the here. Um, at this point, I could continue with um, with another ant. This is probably the most common idea. But I decided to take advantage of the fact that the mosquito is stuck here. And so I can force one of the two beetles on top of the hive. Either the mosquito or the beetle. Because if the mosquito would have, was free, then the mosquito could have pinned the beetle and um, then it would have been a bit more complicated. It would involve the sacrifice. But in this case, it doesn't really. Because even if the black uh, pins the, the, the beetle, I get, um, I would get a mosquito on top of the hive. Instead of going straight for that, I decide to play this. The idea is that I'm not in a hurry to play the mosquito, to, to climb with the mosquito. Um, because I can place at the next move another piece here, a pill bug, for example. I mean, here. Uh, and uh, the mosquito will be free again. And this move with the ant basically um, creates um, creates a sort of pseudo pocket. So black cannot really stop uh, me from placing a piece here unless um, they move the, the ant back here, which means also wasting a move. Um, this is the, actually the only idea that black can play where he, can, he prevents me from taking this space, but I came out with something quite, I think, fun to play, which is make the ring. The, the, um, the reason why this ring is kind of fun for me is that two of the pieces uh, in the black ring and sorry two of the black pieces in the ring they cannot move because of bi-directional pin so the black ladybug and the black hand they're stuck the black mosquito can move of course but um if the black mosquito moves so like it moves away then my white mosquito is free to go on top of the hive uh, and at the same time i also have the white mosquito uh, white ant here free so black decided to place another another ant um, see that um, now the ant is not on the angle attack of the spider. The spider can um, like can move only here, and this will not help white anyway. Um, I still keep the ring here, which means I could potentially move the ladybug. But I decided to place pillbug first. Um, there are different like more options that are. Um, kind of allowed by this move. One is that the mosquito also has spillback power, so at next move I can warp my um, my um, my queen over here and free the beetle at the same time, at least like temporarily. Um, also I'm not kind of in a hurry to force the hand now. Um, I have different options and my ring is a bit more flexible than his I think. Again, because the two pieces are stuck in this bidirectional pin. Um, if black wants to use these spawn points to attack, I have a free ant um, and also a mosquito here ready to like um, defend from the beetle attack. So it's not actually a big deal. Um, black goes on pinning my ant. Um, which makes sense, but at the same time, I also have this ant free, remember? Um, and uh, the spider there actually uh, like um, allows me to pin the, the ant here. It's actually not a permanent pin, as you see, is um, as an elbow, and uh, a typical technique is to just uh, free, uh, like fill the elbow to free the ant, and when you have a spider, pinning of course you cannot reposition the pin as an ant would do so um, the ant is free again but I kind of stretch the hive a little bit and the spider is still pinning the hopper so I don't mind and black has to spend a move to do that um, so now it's my turn again and I decide to break the pin in this way there are probably 
many different options here. Uh, again, there is this option where I free the beetle at least temporarily, but at the same time, I will leave the mosquito free and the other ant is free here. Um, I, I will have, oops, no, uh, go back, go back. Uh, I have um, other moves. I can play the mosquito. I can climb with the mosquito on top. Um, I could do this, but like all these moves where the, the ring is broken, um, they kind of make the, 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 the hive a bit more um, stiff, a bit more, um, uh, how do you say, like less flexible. Okay. Um, you can say, okay, you broke the ring anyway. Sure. But the idea is that the black mosquito here is in another bidirectional pin. Okay, whenever you see those bidirectional pins, you have to try to understand how to how to take advantage of it. And most of the time, the advantage is to create a ring or some sort of fill where the opponent piece cannot move. So now, my idea is to throw the pill bug in here, in this in this spot, um, creating a new ring, and now all three black pieces are unable to move. At the same time, the ring will free my ant here. Um, so I thought it was quite a nice a nice idea. Um, and I don't risk too much at the moment because there are no many spoon points, black spoon points around my queen. So um, black goes for a kind of pin replacement, but at the same time, this spider is looking at this place here. Because when I move the pillbug here, the spider comes in and now black has a couple of spawn points around they're still not very dangerous um because of the mosquito here the mosquito has spider power so whenever black um um place an, a piece here the mosquito here or here the mosquito can pin it so it's not a big deal at the moment but i still have to be careful i have this ant free i don't need it to move it straight away actually um this comes another idea that um, it's worth to understand, I think. So why do I put this two spider? I mean, they seem like not not great, right? Because the ant could just pin them both. And what would I achieve? Uh, my point was to work on the... I'm not sure how to call it. I usually call it a call, an analogy with go. But... Um, so in Go, if you play Go, there is a situation where you cannot repeat the same move, but you need to play, so the, the, the position on the board cannot be repeated straight away. You need to play another move somewhere else and then go back to the initial situation. Um, like the analogy is that I cannot move um, the spider straight away using pillback power. My idea would be to throw the spider in here, for example, and free the um, free the beetle at the same time um but i need to play another move which is a threat and now um, your opponent my opponent had to decide if they want to um protect from this threat or anchor the spider here what they did is indeed they decided that um anchoring the spider was not was not worth it um, so they moved the, the ant away to block my other ant. The, the an ant is worth probably more than two spiders. Um, and these two spiders actually, like the, this spider is not positioned in a, in a, in a good way. Uh, it's not in a great uh, spot because either here forms a ring or either here fills the elbow and frees the grass of the black grasshopper. So, but I, I hoped at some point it could be useful somehow um not yet but anyway the point is now i can actually throw the spider in and uh um the the beetle was free i was actually expecting black to just play this um but my idea was to uh, go with this at some point um and having the mosquito with both pill bug and beetle power is kind of dangerous if black um breaks the ring then i could still create another ring and um, and put the ant in, in here, which is usually like a, a 
placing an ant in, in inside of the hive um, it's it's usually a good idea for for the opponent right for me because this ant is not very useful at the same time the mosquito could just jump on top of the of the of the queen and um, like I mean even if black counter attack I have I have this attack as well uh, or I could even do this for example um, so yeah there are a few options um, and of course black has an attack as well but apart from the beetle they don't have many other pieces and they don't have very good spawn points apart from yeah the here or here uh, I mean this spawn points here to for hopper to jump or here for hopper to jump um so okay maybe it's a bit dangerous but there are some ideas that i can i can work on i think um or instead of this um if i don't want if i don't want to play something too risky i can just you know like move this away first make sure that the black ladybug cannot cannot get out this is a probably a safer option for me. I also get, uh, move my queen away from the pill bug, but um, it's probably not a big deal because, again, black doesn't have too many pieces available. Um, yeah, probably black can pin this, but I, now I can go on with this attack, and it looks kind of dangerous, I think. Uh, I probably have some initiative. Um, let's see this uh i mean black can should they um, control the spawn points here to prevent the direct drop um we can still i can attack as well or take a compound attack there are a few options but i think um white is okay um yeah i don't see many other options at the moment um so black um instead of pinning my beetle decided to to um, pin my ladybug uh, and uh, here I decided to play a bit more slowly because I didn't see I mean I could have attacked again the same way um, but in the end I decided it was a bit too risky especially because I freed the ladybug at the same time as we seen before um, I still think it was doable but um, this is probably a safer way to play um, we create another spawn point here uh, probably a hopper will come here or an ant and then I'll decide what how, how to play next um, let's keep this ring here it's not hurting me it's not hurting anyone but definitely not me um, this is the move that black played that I was a bit puzzled by I think he wanted to control this spoon point but which makes sense but sacrificing an ant to do that I think was a bit too much um, an extra ant in the ant game is it's worth a lot so you probably should have just kept playing um, at this point why it doesn't have any free ant so for example well whenever your opponent doesn't have a free ant it's always a good moment to think about beetle placement so placing a beetle here could have been a good idea um, probably um, black was worried about this and now there's no more uh, like there's no more free end <laughs> um, but uh, at the same time black has got has got um, a piece on top of the hive and black is still an ant here it's not really free at the moment because then the white ant will get out but when the, the ring is broken then this ant here will be free as well and uh, if not there, um, if not there, um, yeah, probably maybe maybe here something like this. And uh, once White plays this, um, there is this move, for instance, that makes things quite quite complicated. White can can pin the beetle but the, the white doesn't have the spawn point here anymore. And also the ladybug is free now. For instance, you can go for something like this or, or something like this. I think uh, there, were, there were some other options. Um, instead, what black played uh, here, I think, uh, makes the endgame pretty poor for black. 
um, the spite like still has an ant here. Um, so now black goes with the beetle, but I think could have done that the, the move early one move earlier. Um, I now go for the, the the ant game. Black will cover my uh, pill bug, but it's not a big deal because if you count the material, black has basically one beetle plus another three pieces in the reserve, and white once will move the ladybug, will have five spaces around. So um, unless black can free more pieces, and if I'm careful, this should happen, then I'm safe. Um, of course, black will try to free new pieces, so I have to, I have to play against that. Um, at the same time, I try to free my ant. This is basically a, a trade. You see, I am trading a ladybug for an ant, but initially, like in, in the middle game, and end game ants um, are, are more useful. Black is blocking me. At the same time, he's making this ring, although the ant cannot get out of the ring, so it's not super useful at the moment. But as I said, there's no point for black to attack the queen straight away. He just needs to play in the shape of the hive so that there will be more, more pieces um, available later on. Um, I get here to free my ant. Um, black keeps the ring and introduce another piece in the hive, potentially making another ring here. Um, like if the hopper jumps here, then we get actually two rings. Um, and again, some pieces and bidirectional pin is particularly these two ants here are stuck. Um, but the rest of the pieces might be able to move. So it all depends on how the shape of the hive will change in the next few moves. Um, I decide to go for this, basically trading a beetle for a mosquito, although at the same time I'll free the spider. When there is this shape, this sort of pocket, although it's not really a pocket because normally for a pocket you mean play um, a structure where you can place safely a piece, one of the two players can play safely a piece. This is not really a pocket because it's not spoon point for anyone. I call this omega shape. Like, and uh, uh, the problem is that once this is filled, both pieces are free at the same time. But since one of them is a spider, um, I'm not very worried that the spider, like it's not, if it was an ant, that would be a problem because the ant will just rearrange and pin, pin the other piece in the omega shape or pin some other piece. But the spider here is not a big deal. Um, black goes, to, goes on creating this ring. Um, so okay, you fill the the, the shape uh, to free the mosquito. Why did you <laughs> move the beetle again in the end? I'm not sure. I don't remember honestly. Um, but I felt I could um, I could fill this shape later on again. Uh, I wasn't in a hurry to do that. If I if I instead sorry if I instead move the mosquito, then it's very hard to free the beetle because it's in this uh, straight line. So, go first for the more flexible moves, and then later on, uh, like free first the pieces you can, um, you cannot free otherwise. Okay, and then the mosquito can be probably free later on. Um, black breaks the ring and pins my queen. Although again, I'm not very worried about that. Um, I place a beetle. Black puts the pill bug in an anti spawn position so that my beetle is not dangerous. Although, I mean, it will take me a lot of moves here anyway. Uh, I decide to pin the hopper here as well with the ant just to um, like control um, my opponent, position, my opponent um, options. Another idea of moving the pill bug was to create a nice pocket for the beetle. Yeah, this is actually a pocket, it's a kind of a special pocket. Uh, not sure how to call it, but yeah, two, two zip pocket, I don't know. Um, I go on with my beetle. So now my target is to qualify for the win, so neutralize the pill bug. Um, I have enough control of the hive in general, um, but yeah, I need to, to, to neutralize the pill bug if I want to win. And free probably a couple 
one or two more pieces because I have two pieces in reserve, but uh, I might need more. Um, so there is a bit of maneuvering here. And the problem is how to get to the queen or to the build bug without making a ring. Because in this case, um, my beetle will get stuck and black queen is pretty safe. So it's definitely something I don't want to do. I have to go all the way around. Uh, so I could say the beetle shouldn't cross the river. <laughs> it should go around uh, through the bridge. Um, and we'll see now in a bit how to how I managed to do it. Um, Black plays around with Hopper. As I as I said before, uh, the time to free the mosquito will come later, and this is actually a good way to do it. I just basically trade the spider for a mosquito, and the mosquito can move as a pill as a beetle. Uh, I just move the ant here because I don't want the spider to pin my ant. I want to keep my mobility as good as possible. It's probably maybe not needed because the spider might have to move again at some point. But now the mosquito is a beetle, and I just have to be careful because now black is trying. It is kind of close to to win, but uh, if you count properly the pieces, there's no way black can have an extra piece. Even if the beetle come in, you you black will need another piece to win um, so once I'm sure about that 100% I can just neutralize the pill bug cover it um, and just move slowly the beetle there I also would I also have would have direct drop here uh, you see here so I can actually drop this the, the hopper directly there so black decide to decide to prevent that um, I covered the ladybug um, because I, I was afraid that some sort of ring would free the ladybug and then I would I could potentially lose now definitely I cannot lose anymore and I just maneuver my pieces slowly into the last three kill spots the two the last two kill spots are taken by the beetle and mosquito actually either one or the other because um, and it has to be the last it has to be the kill shot, the last move, um, because if I move the um, if I move the mosquito down, then the pillbug will move out, and if I move the beetle down, then I actually lose <laughs> one, two, three, and the ladybug gets here and I lose. So I have to be a bit careful, but it's fine. Let's take the other kill spot, and then um, I just need to take the last two. And luckily, actually, I have a beetle here, which is in a good position for that and the game is up is over so um i think it was quite interesting thank you for watching and uh I'll come soon with the next game uh rock surf and frasco game two um remember to subscribe to the channel like this video and uh, see you next time bye